The former footballer, footballer of great repute, Graham Souness, uh, turned football pundit, <coughs> says he does not regret his remarks about football being a man's game. Uh, this was after the Chelsea-Tottenham draw. Uh, it was played out on Sunday. Uh, the former Liverpool player came under fire for saying the Premier League showdown at Sh uh, Stamford Bridge uh, showed, quote, it was a man's game all of a sudden. Uh, Souness was sitting next to the former England women's international Karen Carney uh, when he made those comments. There has, uh, well, it's blown up. Aidan McGee, the sports writer, is here to ponder on it. Aidan, what should we, what should we consider in, the, in terms of this story? What does it tell us about the way things are moving in football and the way football is reported? Well, let's take the comments first of all. I believe that the vast majority of people watching and consuming the product and watching that game on Sunday were in no doubt of what Graham Souness meant. He was talking about the reclaiming of the game in terms of rule changes. Referees are allowing a little bit more to go. Probably an unfortunate turn of phrase. I'll it's a bit more physical. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, listen, it, some, it doesn't go one way. I mean, some of the rules that have limited the physicality have been done for a reason. They've been done to make the, they make the product more saleable and make it quicker. You do that by making it quicker. Everyone likes a fast product. It's also been done to limit the risk of injury. So it's not, it's a little bit of an old, old timer's view, but a lot of people like me would say, well, actually, I like physicality in my football. I like it to be a little bit like that. And I know there are injuries, but, you know, that's just part and parcel of the game. We, we put up with it in other sports. Why shouldn't we do that in football? There have been moves by IFAB, by FIFA, by UEFA even to make football a non-contact sport. People don't like that. So that's exactly what he was, what he was talking about. And when he's talking about men's football, yes, it is a man's game. That's not disputable. I don't believe there's a counter-argument to that. And I don't believe he's set out. You should always look at intent. That's what a court would do. It yeah. lo always looks at intent. It was Graham Souness's intent to undermine any of his studio guests, Karen Carney, for example? Was he intending to undermine the women who did well in the Lionesses, for example, this summer and have made great strides within women's, women's football? I really don't think he did. I think he was talking about rule changes in the game, and that's how it's manifested itself from here I'm, on. I'm trying